The SLICE Virtual Slide Viewer and Image Bank allows you to view features of microscopic specimens at high power on your computer. To get started, log in using your institution's single sign-on option or using your email address and SLICE password. To navigate images, pan across the slide by clicking and dragging the image, or use the swipe motion on a tablet device. When viewing images, zoom in and out using your mouse wheel, the plus and minus buttons, or the pinch motion on a tablet. The full screen mode allows you to focus on the image and hides the slice tools. Your teacher may use this to walk you through the features of importance. While they do this, you can make notes directly on the image for study purposes. Turn off full screen mode to start. To annotate, click Add Layer. This will create your own personal layer to make notes on. Give it a title. For example, the tissue type being examined. Add an optional description and the settings are preset for you for this type of activity. Click Done. Start annotating by clicking Annotate. Add a title to record which feature you are marking out. In this example, I'll annotate mucus glands. Each feature you wish to mark out needs to be a separate annotation. Add a description, perhaps related to function and histological appearance. There are four shape types that you can use to mark out the feature's location on the slide. A pin, polygon, ellipse or rectangle. Add a pin by clicking once to collect a pin and move to the location on the image. Click again to place the pin. Pins can be moved by dragging it to a new location. Pins are perfect for small features, particularly those that are hard to see at low magnification, as they will resize to be visible at all magnifications. The ellipse and rectangle tools work in a similar way. Make your selection and the cursor will change to crosshairs. Click once and stretch out the shape. Click again to set the size of the shape. Edit the shape by clicking it and dragging in the corners or edges. Individual points can be moved by dragging them to a new location. Using the Alt button on the keyboard while clicking can remove a point. The circle in the bottom right hand corner can be used to rotate the shape on an angle. The Polygon tool is perfect for more complex features. Click Polygon and click once at the edge of the shape you'd like to start marking out. Continue clicking around the feature. Double click to finish. Each annotation can have multiple shapes that mark out many examples. Choose a colour for your annotation by clicking the Paint Tin button, taking into account the stain used in your slide or other annotations you've already made. Choose one of the 20 preset options or use the colour picker to choose your own. Click Save. To mark another feature, return to the layer and click Annotate again. Your layer is private until you choose to share it by copying the URL to the layer. Each image has a set of descriptive metadata that may include body structures, disorders and stains. Find this by clicking the eye icon. Slice also allows you to work in groups to mark out features. Each layer has an invite button that generates a unique link that can be shared via email or your learning management system. This will allow others to see any annotations you've made and also add their own by clicking annotate and marking out features with you. At the end of each group session, we recommend duplicating the layer into your own account so you have your own record of the class activity. Note taking is an important part of learning and annotating images using pins and shapes during class activities or for private and group study can help with learning histology and histopathology. All of your annotation layers will be saved and can be found in the collection space, accessible from the navigation bar. This area organises any images or collections you have marked as a favourite and any images that you've annotated on so you can quickly revisit your previous work, perfect for exam revision. If a collection is shared with you, for example, a list of images that will be used in a class, 
you can set the collection as a favourite and it will appear in your favourites folder along with any other images you've marked as a favourite. Do this by clicking the star icon while viewing an image. You may also be given questions that test your feature identification knowledge. Review the question on the left. Navigate the image by zooming and panning across and collect a pin from the top left hand corner to place on the image to indicate where you believe the feature is located. Click the blue check your responses button and immediate feedback is given. Try again, collect another pin and review any feedback provided for the question. Questions you have answered can also be revisited in the collection space. You can return to Slice at any time and find all of your resources here.